Just last year, Pakistani government had ordered a crackdown on undocumented refugees and migrants. Pakistan had claimed that out of 4 million, nearly 1.7 million Afghan refugees were in fact undocumented. And this is the story of Fatima Amiri and her family who came to Pakistan because the Taliban would not allow her and her sisters to go to school. A Voice of America correspondent, Muska Safi, visited the family and found out that getting educated in Pakistan also seems like a distant dream. Take a look. Fatima Amiri was finishing high school when the Taliban returned to power in Afghanistan in 2021 and banned girls' secondary education. Amiri, her parents and seven siblings fled to Pakistan a few months later. They live in the Baraku area in the eastern suburbs of Islamabad. Amiri says the Taliban's ban on girls' education in Afghanistan was bad enough, but because her family is undocumented, she can't go to school here either. For the past two years, we have been living in Pakistan with an uncertain future. I wanted to be a doctor. It was my parents' wish and my wish, but I forgot everything here. Instead of going to school, Amiri works as a tailor to help her family pay the rent and buy groceries. About 700,000 Afghans fled to Pakistan after Taliban returned to power. According to the UN, the regime has since imposed strict restrictions on women, including barring them from secondary and university education. Amiri's father, Ghulam Abbas Amiri, says that living as an undocumented refugee in Pakistan makes it difficult for the family to send their children to school. We can't go out because of the police, so the police don't arrest us. UNHCR has given us only a token in the past two years, and that is all. They have not done anything for us. We cannot work, go outside, or even rent a place. We live in this remote area away from everything, like the bazaar and hospital. His worry is justified. Hundreds of thousands of Afghan have been deported since Pakistan started forcible deportation of undocumented Afghans in November of 2023. Fatima Amiri's mother, Gulbegum Amiri, says that she is concerned not only about deportation to Afghanistan, but also about her children's future. They don't have enough food and there's no education. These are the problems. I'm very concerned about their future as it looks now to be unclear and uncertain. Amiri says that she is particularly concerned about her younger siblings who have missed two years of school. My brothers and sisters are young. This is the time that they get their education, but we live in a remote area. We do not have documents. Our future looks bleak to me, and I do not know what is going to happen. More than for me, I am concerned for my sisters and brothers. The Amiri says their only hope is to be relocated to a country where the children can receive an education. For Muskasapi in Islamabad, Pakistan, Shaista Sadat Lame, VOA News. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.